is up my fluffy buns? So today I'm going to be following the Cooking a Dreams Vanilla Fluffy Cupcake Recipe. So I'll try to link in the video and the link in the description about all the recipe and stuff. Since I know how to make the frosting, I'm going to like skip that part. So I need to learn how to make a cake, which my cake was very trashy so i had to like learn how to make it very fluffy and moist that's why i'm doing this video so first you're gonna need 150 grams of cake flour and i think one teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda which I already mix it right in also if you're gonna use a gram scale make sure you use like a light plastic bowl so you can actually get the right exact measurement instead of using like these heavy glass bowls like this and i'll link in the description to like know how to make cake flour so next we're gonna sift this whole thing right in here then i'm gonna use the unsalted room temperature butter which is 150 grams into this bowl and then i'm gonna add the 130 grams of sugar then i'm gonna add one and a half teaspoon of vanilla So it says to beat the butter and the sugar into a fluffy and a, like a little pale color. So I'm not getting the same result as getting like a pale color. Maybe I might add too much vanilla, but I'm going to add these three eggs that are room temperature and make sure you do it like one at a time. So I'm going to add this whole mixture to this big bowl so I can do the dry ingredients. So I'm going to put these three spoons full of flour into this bowl at a time. So it tells you how to preheat the oven for 320 Fahrenheit for 17 minutes and then increase the temperature for 356 Fahrenheit. Well, mine goes up to like 355 so it can't go up to any higher. So for about 3 minutes and you should get your cupcakes in just a bit. So as you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I had like these two pots of hot, well not hot water, just water so it can heat up so you can actually like get the cupcakes out and I also spread like some coconut oil spray around the tin foil. Well, one side is with the parchment paper and the foil, and the other one's with not. Oil, then parchment paper, then cupcake, if that makes sense. Okay, because like that guy just like had like the silicone and like I don't know how to explain, it, but you guys should like, actually like watch the video and see how he add like the oil to the cupcake parchment paper, that kind of thing. Compared to this and this, this one was a little bit oily since I would recommend you guys getting the tin foil cupcake liners because like this one, it's really too oily. I don't know why, but maybe I might add too much oil, but it does look good. Maybe smell good too. I mean, I'm just gonna give it a taste, but you guys can like wait until like 20 minutes just to cool off, but I wanna try these. So I'm gonna try this one, which it can actually easily peel off. Wow. It's nice and fluffy. There's a little bit of egg, but it actually tastes really good though. It's really fluffy though. I would recommend trying this recipe because it's really good. My kit is nothing like this, so. Yep. I'm gonna try the other one see how it's better easily peel off this one's actually good trust me this recipe is really good well i'm just gonna rate this like a 10 out of 10 since it's really good it's really fluffy and tastes just like a cake like i make the cakes that i made it's very so crappy that it turns to like hard scone rocks cake and like yeah, I can't believe this actually worked, and I can't believe I made these. 
So I'll be back with you guys trying this recipe and thank you cooking a dream. I forgot how to pronounce your name. I I don't know, but but thank you. So I would recommend go check it out this person's channel and this recipe. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.